Hey y'all, tonight our main course for supper is going to be sour cream and onion chicken nuggets. Y'all are not going to want to miss this. It's one of my family's very, very favorites. So stay tuned. Okay guys, are you ready to make some sour cream and onion chicken nuggets? I have taken, and my family's coming, so Caroline and Judah, me and Bryant and Jamie will be here. And Trevor may come eat with us. You know, he's like our second son. Isaac's away at college, so Isaac won't be here. So Trevor may come eat, I'm not sure. Let me show you what I've done. Anyway, I've taken five chicken breasts. I think it was five. May have been four. <coughs> and I've cut them up in bite-sized pieces. Maybe an inch and a half, two inch pieces. Um, so I have them here and I've just put them in this pan. And I have just lightly dusted them with some seasoning salt. And I'm going to give them just a little bit more. And I'm just going to stir it around a little bit. I normally have gloves but I'm out <laughs> and I'm gonna pepper it just a little bit all right just a little bit and I'm gonna show you I put this on just about everything but I don't overdo it. If you overdo it, it's going to taste like it's going to taste like an artificially ranch seasoned something or another. But I use this a lot, but you just don't want to go overboard on it. So I just dust them a little bit and I'll stir it around. And then I'll dust them again. It just gives it another little something something. Y'all, this cough is going to be the end of me. All right, so I'm going to let this sit for just a minute. We're going to come over here to this pan. And I... <laughs> Yuck, I just cracked an egg on myself. Y'all, eggs gross me out. <laughs> I just cracked an egg on myself. Let me get another egg out. I'm going to use three. You can probably get by with one or two, but since my pan is so big, I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna crack three. I'm going to the grocery store, not tomorrow, but Thursday, and I need to get more eggs, so because I'm gonna be cooking a bunch. All right, three eggs going in. And I'm just gonna take my little whisk, kind of pull everything down here in the corner and swish it up. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of milk to this. Maybe a third of a cup, half a cup. I'm not really sure, I didn't measure it. It doesn't matter, this does not have to be precise. You just want a basic egg and milk wash. This does not have to be precise by any means. All right. Now, let me put the eggs back up. Oven is ready. Now, we're going to turn this way. And this bag goes... You guessed it, 
sour cream and onion potato chips. Oh my word. Oh my word. Now I bought two bags and I always just start with one because if I can hang on to that other bag and have something for snacking, yay. Yay me. All right, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave a little bit, I've sealed it all the way across except a little hole right there so the air can escape. <coughs> I don't know what's gonna be best to beat it with. I'm gonna get my rolling pin out. And you want these as absolutely fine as you can get them. Woo, I'm gonna make a mess over here. Let me slide everything down. Slide it on down. Now I have another utensil I can try to break them up with. And I mean, you really want these fine. And it may take me a few minutes to get them where I want them. I want them like breadcrumbs fine. I don't want you. I don't want to be able to tell that it's a potato chip. Now, in the meantime, I've got my oven preheated to 375, and I've got me two cookie sheets or bread pans or whatever you want to call them out. I can already tell you I'm probably going to have to use the second bag, which makes me a little sad because I wanted to eat some. But we're going to try this. All right, let me get my other utensil. I'll show you what it is. <coughs> it's a meat tenderizer. This side is flat and the other side has knobs. So I'm going to use the flat side. Is that annoying? I know it is. And then we're going to use the edge of it. I see any big pieces around the sides. And I flip it over again. Alright, I think that's going to be as good as I can get it. Anyway, for you guys now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this chicken and I'm just going to flop it over here. I'm going to go get me a pair of tongs. No, you know what? I'm just going to go in with my hands. That's gross, I know, but that's actually the best way. Best way. I hope I can get them all over here. So I don't have to do this multiple times. <coughs> the oven is preheated to 375. I think I told you that. I've got Isaac took some of my bread pans to school with him. So I'm and, and <laughs> Brian cooked fish on one of my pans and didn't cover it in tin foil and like I have an outline of fish scales or fish skin or something. Anyway, so he's ruined a pan. It's okay, no big deal. And um, but so I'm only I'm down to one pan and one pizza pan. I think that's what I'm down to. Okay, I'm just submerging this in the egg and the milk. <coughs> we'll move that over. I'll throw this one away. My trash is overflowing. All right, so let me, I'm gonna slide everything down. We're gonna start with my lovely, well-seasoned pan. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna, I don't need that really. I'm just gonna reach in here with my fingers. I know you can't see what I'm doing. I'm gonna reach in here with my fingers and just throw a bunch in. Let it drip, throw a bunch in, 
let it drip. Get all that excess egg off. One more handful and I'll stop for a while. All right, let me rinse my hand. <coughs> okay. So, I probably don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to spray my pan. That's why I have all this discoloration is because I always spray my pan. I always spray my pan. All right, so I'm going to close this up best I can. And I'm just going to massage this in there. And this is not all you're going to have to do. You're going to have to go in and press these chicken nuggets on these pieces. I mean, the chips on the nuggets. Let me lay one back here so you can see what it looks like. It may not be, have chips on every like little bitty, I mean you're going to see pieces of flesh and that's okay. Y'all my kids love this. And this this was actually I got this years ago back when Paula Dean was on TV and uh, I used to watch her like religiously. I love Paula Dean because she's a southern cook and um, she cooked a lot like I did. And I so I got this recipe. It, this is Paula Dean's recipe and it also came with its own honey mustard uh, recipe. And so I used to make that, and it is so good. My family loves it. But we've actually come across Ken salad dressing, honey mustard. And you just can't beat that. You just can't beat that. It's so good. And I'm just laying these out on this cookie sheet. I'm being sure they got chips on them. And then I'm laying them out on this cookie sheet. Judah Bug's going to love these. Oh my goodness. Alright guys, well I'm going to keep doing this. This is kind of the nasty work and this is what takes the longest. And then um, we'll come back and we'll get them going in the oven. Okay guys, these are going in the oven. I got two pans, 375 for 20 minutes. And we're going to check them. Now listen guys, I have a convection oven. If you don't have a convection oven, you may want to rotate them halfway through. Um, but I have a convection, so I'm just going to stick them in and leave them for 20 minutes. Okay, guys. Oh, you can't see me. Um, Judah's in there hollering, it's time for supper. So I am getting out the chicken nuggets. You gotta be fast when you got a toddler running in here. All right, so I've just got my enamel bowl here and I put some paper towels in it. I love old looking stuff. And went to flea market, got this old enamel bowl and I make my biscuits in here. Love it, love it. So anyway, here are our chicken nuggets. Look how beautiful they are. Oh my goodness. Like I said, I used to make my own homemade um, honey mustard but we just like Ken's now so I don't even make my own honey mustard anymore Let's see what I'm going to fill up from this pan first and y'all will be munching on this for I like the little skinny ones and narrow ones for myself You 
bugs running around here having a ball. I'll finish this in just a second, but I thought I'd give one a taste for you. Look at that. Golden deliciousness right there. So good. Mm. It's hot, but it's good. We have another taste tester. Too hot for Judah. Y'all, they're so good. You've got to try these. My family loves them. We'll snack on them all night. We I don't know why I was all the time. Why don't you ever? I don't know why I was so stingy with the potato chips. I won't be snacking on the potato chips. I'll be snacking on these. So y'all gotta make these. They're so good. Bryant, come here. We'll get him to taste one. I'll keep serving them up over here. Yes. You dirty. spilled. He's dirty. He's been working. We've been farming it, or he's been farming today. I'm dirty. I got a wet spot on my shirt. I did this morning. Not have a wet spot. <laughs> but I um worked in the farm this morning. And then I came home and tried to get rid of this cough, and it's just not going anywhere. All right. I change shirts. Here they are. Sorry, guys. Here they are in my enamel bowl. Aren't they beautiful? It's always delicious. They are really good, y'all. And you don't even need grease to fry this. So I would say if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. But you don't even Bake need grease for this. Bake the They're so good. You can add butter if you want, but we don't. We don't even need it. So thank you all for watching the Farming Pastor's <laughs> Wife. <coughs> he said, hang on, hang on. This is what he likes. This is what I like. Sweet baby rays. That's the spicy. You don't like the spicy. I don't like spicy, but I like the, the regular. He likes the regular. Sweet Baby Ray's original. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I like the honey mustard. I don't have any original. No, we're out. Anyway, Sweet Baby Ray's original barbecue sauce. The best there is around. Really, really good. Judah's getting into my box of splits. Look, this is what happens when you have a, <coughs> when you have a toddler. Look. Can you say hey, Judah? Huh? Can you say Judah? Look, he's having himself with the splendor. That's our life. Thank y'all for watching The Farming Pastor's Life. If you haven't subscribed, please go do so. Look. Don't mess up the whole thing. Watch this love. Delicious. Delicious. So y'all have a good night. Thank you for visiting with us down on the farm. Golden brown. I mean like. He can't get it. He's got to get the last word. Delicious. The, the viewers want to see more of me. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Love y'all. Bye.